So hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing amazingly fine. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, we're gonna talk about everything that you can do if you're a CPL holder and you're still waiting for your airline gig. Or let's go the other way around. If you're an aspiring pilot and you have a slight doubt in your head that okay, what am I gonna do if I don't get an airline job soon enough? Because we all know what the condition is of the aviation sector right now, not only in India but around the world. So this is exactly what this video is about. So you know, let's just begin the video because I'm I'm really going out of words and I don't know what to say because I don't write down shit even when. Uh, just just let's start please bye okay sorry before we head on to it uh, you might have noticed that the channel title has changed yeah well that was uh, because i want to make this channel more of a aviation related channel and i want to help you guys in each and every possible way because i know that uh, i have been through difficult times in aviation and uh, you can easily be misguided and that is something which is very common in the country because aviation is not a sector wherein there are a lot of people who can guide you with respect to that वैसे बहुत सारे लोग हैं but काफी ज्यादा मिसगाइड करने वाले लोग हैं so that is why the new title and because the title has changed the intro should also change so i will roll in the intro in a while and i want you guys to comment whether you liked it or not so please do comment down and do like the video if you really really like the new intro so without further ado let's get going So if you guys are currently thinking that why I'm walking around giving you information, it's because I'm absolutely bored sitting in the room and giving you the same information which I can do right now. So it's pretty hot right now, and uh, I'm on my terrace because I can't sit in the room and do the same thing over and over again. So let's get to point number one. So let's begin with the first thing that you can do if you have a CPL. and uh, you don't have a airline job so the best thing is for me which i personally did was become a ground instructor now when i started instructing ggc had requirement that uh, whoever wants to do that has to have two atpl papers cleared but recently they have removed that clause and if you have a cpl you are free to start instructing so this is a very very good option trust me to begin with because uh, not only does it help you to polish up your own knowledge but also it's it's you're going to be paid quite a good amount i mean trust me it's a good amount and it's better than sitting at home so and you do not need anything extra apart from what you already have that is your cpl so that's point number 1 and uh, if you want any more details with respect to this you can surely hit up on my dms and you guys will also have a question ki approximately how much do ground instructors earn or how are they paid now uh, to be honest it depends on the institute that you are teaching for or it depends how how they are going to offer you a salary whether it's going to be on monthly basis or whether it's going to be on hourly basis so it's a it's an answer which is something uh, which i can't like generally give you a figure about but uh, trust me it is not a bad deal uh because as i told you earlier it's much 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 better than just sitting at home and cribbing that there are no aviation jobs in the market so you know just go with it and the next thing that you guys can opt for is becoming a synthetic flight instructor now yeah that's a very fancy term but uh, it's nothing fancy it is just becoming a simulator instructor now simulator instructor again if you ask me for the qualifications you do not need anything extra apart from having a cpl already and you just have to or you just have to go to a flying club or any institute where they are approved to do dgca uh, training on simulators of course and uh, if they grant you you have to do a certain sessions which is barely anything like i think a few couple hours i guess and then a flight test with the same cfi who will surely surely is going to take you in or going to pass you if you want me to say that out loud yeah same thing yeah and you're again going to be paid on an hourly basis and uh, if and you guys should know that if one if you are a cpl holder 
you need to have a certain amount on simulators as well and mind it these simulators are single engine and multi engine don't consider yourself to start uh, you know instructing on a a320 or a boeing or a 77 simulator so i i like when every people are optimistic but guys realism you know so yeah that's an amazing thing you can start doing synthetic flight training i i just go out of words you know but you got my point right so the point number 3 that uh, i was going to tell is why not become an assistant flight instructor now uh, like the first two things that i told you which do not require a lot of uh, money to be put in because uh, you do not need to you do not have to go and do some extra training in order to become a ground instructor or not to become a synthetic flight instructor but if you are opting to become an efi you need a certain amount of extra hours apart from the 200 hours that you would do for your cpl and these are a specific set of hours we call it as pat of flying and apart from that you also have to give a uh, exam which is the dgc conducts again on uh, the same pattern that they usually do these are different they are like vivas and uh, only after all of that you can start instructing uh, but i prefer this as one of the good things to do because at this current moment because a lot of the uh, senior instructors have gone into airlines a lot of the flying club around india really want afis and uh, you'll have to put in a certain amount of money to be very specific somewhere around 4 to 5 lakhs again approximate please do not come barging on me with the figures i'm just telling you the average figures and yeah you'll have to put that much amount of money apart from what you put for your cpl to get your afi rating but a very good advantage of this is that you will get all the hours that you fly with a trainee so all the full of the hours if you fly for an hour you get an hour and so on so that will come under your belt and that will surely help you when you are applying for airlines and for interviews because it will show on your resume that okay you have a certain number of hours better than someone else who's just a fresh away 200 hours so that's a very good option also the pay is much better than being a ground instructor well i am a ground instructor see i told you guys okay whatever i feel bad right now but that's something you can obviously do so that's point number 3 also guys before we head on to the next point if you guys are still watching this video and you think that it is informative please do not forget to hit the like button it does help me a lot you know more than you really think it does and uh, if you want to watch more content of about aviation especially in india and later on worldwide you need to hit that red button which is down there and you know just hit it just fucking hit it hard because if you can't hit something else just go and hit that bloody button just subscribe to me i mean why not i'm such a good guy i'm amazing yet i'm not funny so let's let's get going so this is the fourth option that you guys can have and it is one of the most adventurous i would say if nothing you can opt to become or you can opt to join the coast guard well now coast guard actually have something known as a short term commission which is basically working for a comparatively less time than what a new cadet would do or a new cadet would go when you join a coast guard and uh, the one benefit is that they actually look for cpl holders because it makes it much easier you don't have to train a cadet from ground zero and uh, to be honest the pay is very good along with that you get a chance to serve the nation and you will be flying an aircraft like donia so you know it's really really nice i have a couple of friends who are into coast guards and it's a very good option if you are like young if you are like just completed your cpl probably you are 19 20 or even younger than that or you know you know that it's be, it's it's kind of difficult to get into an airline right now so why not opt for it and after you finish your commission period which is i think of 7 or 8 years i'm not very sure but i'm going to put a link down in the description about all the criteria that uh, these guys want you to fulfill before jumping into uh, getting selected so you know just go and check it in the description you know just do something for your fucking self man i mean everything you want me to tell you really well okay let's just go to point number 5 Well, before going to point number five, I just saw something. You see a white dove. Well, I somewhere read that white doves are signs of uh, uh, luck. You know, signs of luck. So I actually saw two white doves. See, it just flew out. Wow, that's so cool. 
सो इफ दिस इज अ साइन ऑफ लग आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू यू नो मे बी जस्ट बूस्ट अप माई चैनल आई थिंक दैट माई चैनल इज गोन ग्रो रियली क्विक वेल आई वॉन्ट मेक दिस द बेस्ट एविएशन चैनल इन इंडिया सो यू नो हू कैन फुलफिल दिस ड्रीम समथिंग समटाइम्स इट्स नॉट अबाउट मी समटाइम्स इट्स अबाउट यू गाइज सो इफ यू गाइज हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब ऑलरेडी गो एंड हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन फकिंग नाउ just do it man just do it brother is asking another brother or a sister or please just do it so hey guys coming to the last and the final point of this video is point number 5 and it is more exciting than your coast guard it is why not join the air force now just like your coast guard air force also has a short term commission which is i think for 14 years it's a little longer than coast guard but you're going to be in the air force well it was my dream and i always wanted to be an air force pilot but again my parents were too scared to put me into air force i don't blame them it would be any parent and i do not regret it whatsoever so it is a very good option but the catch over here is that you're not going to get to fly fighters sorry it's something not that i have decided it's just you know that i've heard a lot and i've also i also know it but i'm not giving you fake information but you're going to get to fly a transport category aircraft and it is actually a good option as well uh, i can show you some of the aircrafts on the screen right here these are the ones that usually people who go through after their cpl into air force they get to fly that and uh, along with that the pay is pretty good also you will get to serve the nation i mean what's more better than that well I would love it. I would honestly love it. So I will put again all the criteria which are necessary, or you have to fulfill in order to jump into it. You have to give a certain exams, but which are less compared to that of any other stream. They are less difficult compared to that of the NDA route that you choose to. Now, if you don't know what is NDA, put it in the comments. I'll put tell you what it is about. That's another way to get. That's the main way to get into Air Force or any other defense. Uh, service for that man so i guess you can check in the description most of the links are put up there if this video has helped you you know what to do you have to go and hit that like button and do subscribe for more further videos on aviation i want to grow this channel a lot i know i'm just beginning but uh, i'm not going to give up until i reach where i have to and uh, i guess that's all about it okay okay wait 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 i have a friend coming in who is going to tell you I was going to make an announcement for the channel. Well, me and him have collaborated in order to do something absolutely new for you guys and one of you is going to get something free. So, I'll just call up my friend and he'll tell you what it is about. So, you know, so you're welcome man. How are you? I hope you're doing great and you can just you can just tell them what you want. Thanks man, thanks for having me. Okay. So, the thing that you're going to start is drone training program which will be approved by dgca and we will be having dgca approved trainers as well to do it and we're going to soon start it and one of you guys is going to have an opportunity to get it for free well we're going to go to all categories if you guys don't know that drones have different categories from nano to mini to you know it just keeps going on till the big ass ones but uh, again this is something which will be totally online and i'm sure that you guys will love it and it will be pretty interactive we'll also have a few sim sessions which again we'll try to make it online and i hope you guys will like that so that is what the whole big announcement is about and uh, i guess that uh, we should end the video over here so if you guys have liked the video you know what to do so till then i think i'll leave now i've spoken a lot already so i'll just go so you know what just take care guys Bye